And this is going to start off with General Motors material, and that'll take us directly to, believe it or not, we're still dealing with 4L6080 issues. And uh, one of these issues, which begins on page 5, you will see is a little item that you probably don't give a second thought to. Uh, this is something you've removed and replaced who knows how many times, thousands maybe. Never give it a second thought. However, you need to know that it can cause a problem if for some reason you need to replace it and uh, you pick the wrong one. That little item you're looking at right here is the IMS detent spring. Now this is an 09 unit. As you know, from 09 and up, we went from the external park neutral switch to an internal uh, mode switch. And that's what you're looking at here. When they switch to the internal mode switch, uh, they change the detent spring. Uh, not many people realize that. But what happened here, and first I want to bring your attention to the fact of how this roller on a detent spring uh, indexes into this notch in the IMS switch. So bearing that in mind, we're looking at the two different detent springs here. Notice how the one on top has a smaller window. It also has a shorter or narrower roller. Look at the one that goes with the IMS switch that's in the unit here. See how this window is larger? You also have a wider roller. Notice how this will index into the IMS switch. It encompasses both the plastic part of it as well as the metal uh, detent lever. So now let's take a look on page 7. On page 7 we have the small window detent spring installed onto an IMS switch. Obviously this is incorrect. If you look at how this is indexed it's not. What it has done here is it can't grab the full width of the IMS switch. What this is going to do is this is going to misposition this IMS switch and it's not going to range correctly and you'll have a variety of issues uh, because it's going to indicate the wrong uh, gear shift position to the TCM or the computer and uh, more than likely you'll have maybe a PO78 code or one of the codes that relate to uh, whichever IMS circuit is not ranging correctly. So this is incorrect. If you look at the uh, next to it on page 7, you're going to see that we've installed the correct detent lever. Notice how the wider roller encompasses the entire assembly. Uh, plus the larger window here gives it the opportunity to straddle uh, the switch area that it needs to. So this is the correct method. This will work out good. The IMS switch will range correctly. Now, I'm going to show you something unusual here. This is an 09 unit uh, that came out of uh, a, a 2009 Chevy Cheyenne, which is basically a Silverado, but the Cheyenne is assembled in Mexico. Now, this can also be common, uh, commonly found, or maybe not so commonly found, but it can be found in a trailblazer with a six liter engine. Now you might possibly say to yourself why in the world would they need both an internal mode switch that you see here and the old style uh, external park neutral switch. What could you possibly need both of these for? Uh, that's a good question but first I want to show you a little video in a shop that actually ran into one of these. And uh, what it's going to show you, it's going to give you a good look. And it's going to be a little noisy because of the air compressor. But you're going to see a good good look at that IMS sitting there. There's the park neutral switch that we used to see in for so many years. And it does have an IMS. Now when going under the truck, we're going to look at the connector. Take a look at that. Three wires. You see the three wires there? That's all that has. It has no other circuitry. So now what we're going to do, we're going to get out of this 
I'm going to take a close look at this connector. There are your three wires. So you may say to yourself, well, I have an IMS switch. I know that's going to co uh, communicate to the TCM gear shift position information. What in the world are these three circuits doing for the park neutral switch? Well, here's the deal. This is the wiring diagram for the Cheyenne. And what you're looking at here is you're looking at the fact that it's equipped both with an IMS switch and a park neutral switch. Now, if you look on the right-hand side here, you're going to see that we have one circuit here off the IMS switch that is going to both the TCM and it's going to the engine control module. And this vehicle has a standalone uh, transmission control module. And what this is doing is it's actually communicating a neutral start signal to the engine control module. It's also giving that information to the TCM. So that's off the internal mode switch. If you look at this circuit next to it in the middle, it is also off the internal mode switch. And this also communicates park neutral position to both the engine control module and the transmission control module. Now we come over to the left-hand side of the diagram. Here you have a park neutral switch, the one you saw on the video. Three circuits. You have one circuit here, which is indicated by this double arrow. Anytime you see a double arrow uh, configuration like that, what that means is that is a serial data communication circuit. In other words, the body computer, as you could see, this goes to the, uh, comes from the body control module. It wants to know this neutral start signal. So that's circuit number one uh, being communicated over serial data line. That second wire you saw there is actually going to the engine control module, again, for a neutral start uh, signal that you see here. And the third wire, as you can see at the bottom of the diagram, is a uh, ground circuit. So this is why, and for the life of me, I don't know why they did this, but remember, 09 was the first year for the internal mode switch, and there must have been some transitional uh, 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 situations going on with this that caused them to put both in this unit. Now, one of the things... You know, when you've got something that's communicating over the serial data line, you're not really sure uh, what it's actually communicating unless you start tracing down uh, communications and computer data line circuits. Uh, I mean, this could be for something like uh, the, uh, the pedal positions. Uh, it has, uh, you know, automatic pedal position uh, adjustments. Uh, it could be for something like that. It could be for door locks. Uh, didn't see any reason for it to relate to reverse lamps that seemed to be on a completely different uh, circuit with different controls entirely but whatever the reason was uh, you may come across this one day uh, and you will in fact have both switches and this is what the circuitry for those uh, are involved thank you for watching for all confirmed fixed videos and unlimited technical support become an ATSG member your transmission tech solution. Click the membership link below.